Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Donovan Kelly here, and today we got another little adventure going on. We're exploring the Tasman Bay area. Today happens to be a very special day, or yesterday was, or well, it's different when you're from Canada and you celebrate a birthday in New Zealand because technically you're a day ahead, so it doesn't really feel like your birthday on either day. But either way, it's this girl's birthday. It's two days for my birthday because yesterday was the 13th in New Zealand and today it's the 13th back home. So two days there you go. for my birthday. And checking out some markets and some beaches. Might go and see Split Apple Rock if we can make it happen which is a really well-known tourist attraction that's near Abel Tasman. Pretty sunny. We're watching some surfers right now at some random beach, which is kind of cool. We have both explored this area to, uh, Jesus. Not together, <laughs> separately. We have both explored the area, not together. Own. Yes, Brittany's been able to go out on a few hikes. I have been able to check out quite a few spots just through work, so now we're actually you know, at a point where we can show each other things and hopefully yeah. get some cool reactions. So see some new stuff that neither of us have seen yet. Yeah. So so we're starting off the day in Ruby Bay. Ruby Bay is just this uh, really lovely little bay outside Mapua, only 20 minutes away from Nelson, so really close to home. Drove by here yesterday for the first time and it was like, oh, okay, gotta show Brittany this. But next up is Mochueca. Made it to Toad Hall Market in Motueka. We're gonna go check it out and see the brewery that's right beside it. So let's go. Town's end. doesn't like the West Coast IPAs as much as I do, that's for sure. Maybe I need to like rinse my palate out first. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's really good. It's cool. That one was from Townsend, but it's really cool because at the Toad, they have a lot of Hop Federation on tap as well. So when you get a tasting flight, you can try a bunch of different beers. Mm. Like this red IPA from Hop Federation. It's just marvelous. It's malty, it's rich, just full of flavor and delicious. Lovely spot, little cafe, little market, restaurant that also serves Townsend beer. So I think we had a good time. If you buy a flight board, you don't have to pay for the plastic Bottle, the bottle here, yeah. I guess. Maybe so what, fourteen fifty for this? Yeah. Um, it was pretty good. And now we're gonna move on to. Yeah, <laughs> I get to show you a place that you haven't been to. So I ended up having lunch here with a coworker uh, three or four weeks ago. And it's just not very often that you get to see a cool rusted old shipwreck. I just thought it'd be cool to show Brittany this and it just happens to be low tide right now so maybe we'll go take a little walk out or get some photos. Jane, Janie Seaton, I believe. Janie Seaton. We haven't seen the or read through the infographic yet but it's really cool. You can see it probably right behind us here and it's really well deteriorated. Pretty you rusty. Walk, you walk right up to it if you wanted to. I mean, there's a sign that says you shouldn't because it's unstable, but a lot of people are walking up to it and it makes for some really cool photos. It's a cool spot. Like I've never seen a shipwreck up this close. I know. It's pretty cool. I thought, I thought it was pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's go read about the shipwreck. All I know, 
I think it left Scotland. I think it was built and left Scotland in 1901. That's it. ended up being a submarine vessel originally, and then it went to Wellington where it was used as a examination vessel, whatever that means. And then later on, it was used in the World War, ended up firing some shots in the World War for the New Zealand Navy before being purchased by a shipping company that used it or was trying to use it for trawl fishing, whatever that is. And then it ended up not being economical for them to fish that way in this area, so they just left it in the bay and let it degrade scrapped it yeah and then just let it sit there rot well it looks cool so i wonder what it looks like in high tide yeah uh, i saw it in high tide and it looked oh. a lot better <laughs> it looked it? a lot cooler oh really yeah Golden beaches. All right, what do you think of Kaitiri Tiri? Beautiful, such golden sand beaches. There's a lot of people here. There's a massive parking lot and it's a little smaller than I expected, but very beautiful. Feels like we're in, I don't know, Thailand or yeah. Philippines or something with these beautiful islands and rocky cliffs. Yeah, some little cruises that you can take to Abel Tasman. It's really not that far away from home, so no, I think not. we're gonna be here We'll couple be back. times yeah yeah for sure definitely coming back here unbelievable spot it'd be great to take a cruise out of here i think we should look into that people keep recommending that and we should do it i don't have to fight you for it oh that. anything on a boat is just amazing yeah short and sweet lovely place <laughs> we'll be back time for split apple rock we're at split apple rock and we're pretty high up so we might have to hike a ways down to the beach to actually see it. It's pretty close to being proper low tide, so we're gonna be able to walk right up to it. This camera's so heavy. My arms are so weak. There you go. Oh, thank you. Yeah. We're having a little snacky, fueling up for this hike. Yeah. That we don't know what to expect. I think it's gonna be cool though. Fifteen minutes down. Based on the angle, I'm thinking it might be like 20, 25 minutes up. It's very covered down here, very rainforesty and humid. It's a nice break from the super hot sun today. It's very peaceful though, like no one else is really on this hike for a sunny Saturday. We got lucky. Just a lovely track. Nice stairwells. Oh, it just smells so fresh here. Taking it all in. I see a golden beach. Oh, I see beautiful blue water. Wow. It's a lot bigger than I thought it'd be. That's what she said. Finally, see the split in the rock from this angle. And it's got like rays of sun on it right now. Okay, tide, calm down. I didn't know that as soon as you get to split up a rock, you get like this whole beach to yourself. Nine people here on this pretty decent sized beach. Just golden, it's so green, all this exposed rock everywhere. Oh man, this is gorgeous. I feel like, I mean another, I didn't know this would be, I don't even know what to say. Rainbows on birthdays and apples on rocks. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Nelson's had its own like cloudy weather system going on today where 
on the south side of the Tasman Bay. It's been nothing but sun. Good to know moving forward. The weather's garbage in Nelson. Maybe all we gotta do is just drive around the bay. People keep going into these little caves over here. We gotta go check it out. She'll be right. Even for someone who's semi claustrophobic, this actually isn't bad at all. Really, uh, I'm just not getting sick of this golden beach is like, I don't know. It's just, it feels more tropical here than so many other places that we've been to. This is amazing. I like these caves, they're really cool, but I'm only wearing sandals, so can only venture so far. And it's almost golden hour, or it is golden hour, so everything looks so gorgeous right now. This is so cool, you guys. Highly recommend. Yeah. All right. How do we get to the rock? Another cave. It is. It's like covered in moss. It's soft. Oh. Yeah. Pretty neat. There's water flowing out of it. So there must be. Oh, this is such a perfect fragrance. Well, this was my favorite thing that we did today. I don't know about you. Yeah, I would say the same thing. This is the highlight of the day so far. So Absolutely, far? so far. I'm getting hungry. I don't know about you, Donovan, but I'm getting pretty hungry, so I think we should go find some food. Sure. Yeah. Birthday dinner. Birthday snacks. <laughs> Goodbye, Split Apple. You've been beautiful. See you next time. Being out here in Machueca and seeing these hop farms in Rewaka. This is a New Zealand hop farm. It's called the Pines. Um, nothing's going on just yet, but I think by the end of summer, or in a few months, this place is gonna be booming with hops. Especially in the last few years where the hazy style of beer has just been so popular. A lot of beer cans from craft breweries back home will say, you know, Machueca hops on it. And now that we're here in this area, you know, seeing some of the hop farms, it's just uh, pretty cool if you're a fan of beer, even if you're not. It's pretty cool. Hops grow great here, and I can't wait for fresh hop season. We had a really packed day exploring Tasman and the surrounding area and we're out in the sun quite a bit, so pretty pooped. A lovely birthday in New Zealand. Good, I'm glad. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, thanks for coming along. We'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers. Cheers.